dialectical behavior therapy, or DBT, mindfulness skills. Observe. Just notice. Be aware and alert. Do not cling to anything. Have a Teflon mind. Control your attention. Step inside and observe. Observe thoughts come and go. Observe your sensations. Observe what you can see, hear, smell, taste, and touch. Observe your feelings. Describe. Put your experience into words. Describe what you observe. Label a thought as just being a thought, a sensation as a sensation, and a feeling as a feeling. Avoid judging or interpreting your experiences. Participate. Throw yourself into social situations and don't hide away. Become one with your experience. Act intuitively from the wise mind and do only what is needed in each situation. Go with the flow and embrace life. Non-judgmental stance. Just the facts. Be aware, but don't evaluate. Sort opinion from fact. Accept each moment. Acknowledge the helpful and the harmful, but don't judge it. Don't judge your judging. One mindfully. Be present in the moment. Do one thing at a time. Ignore any distractions. Come back to the moment and what you are doing. Quieten the words and self-talk in your mind and stay focused. Do each thing with all of your attention. Effectiveness. Focus on what works. Do what needs to be done. Play by the rules. Consider the context. Act skillfully within the situation. Keep an eye on your objectives and do what is necessary. Let go of vengeance, useless anger, and righteousness. The goal of DBT, or Dialectical Behavior Therapy, Mindfulness Skills, Wise Mind, Integration of Emotion Mind and Rational Mind, Allows Intuition, Find it in the Belly, Center of Your Head, or by Following Your Breath. Dialectical Behavior Therapy, or DBT, Distress Tolerance Skills. Distract through accepts. Activities, exercise, find a hobby, visit a friend, contributing, help someone, do volunteer work. Comparisons, compare yourself to how you used to be or with people coping the same or less well than you. Emotions, listen to music, dance, go to events that create different emotions, choose things that bring on the desired emotion, pushing away, 
Build imaginary walls between yourself and the situation. Put it in a box, write it down, and put it away. Thoughts, count to ten, work puzzles, read, watch TV. Sensations, hold ice in your hand, squeeze a rubber ball. Improve the moment. Imagery. Imagine very relaxing scenes. Use your mind to create a safe and painless place where you can take refuge. Meaning. Find or create some purpose, meaning, or value in the pain and suffering. Prayer. Open your heart to a supreme being, greater wisdom, God, your own wise mind. Relaxation. Use techniques to relax your mind, body, and feelings. One thing in the moment. Focus your entire attention on just one thing right now. Vacation. Take a holiday, go to the spa, treat yourself to a movie, take some me time. Encouragement. Cheerlead yourself. Self-soothe. Using your senses. Vision. Be mindful of each sight that passes in front of you. Hearing. Be mindful of any sounds around you. Hear them without being attached to them, especially words. Smell. Be mindful of soothing odors, such as cooking, flowers, nature. Taste. Really focus on tasting the food you eat. Eat one mindfully. Touch. Experience whatever you are touching. Notice, touch what is soothing, take a foot bath, put on lotion. Pros and Cons Write down all of the positive consequences of tolerating the situation. Include how good you will feel when you achieve your goals and do not act impulsively. Write down all of the negative consequences of not tolerating the distressful situation. Include what has happened in the past when you have acted impulsively to escape similar situations. Tip skills. Temperature change. Use hot or cold. Intense physical activity, all out. Paced breathing, inhale, exhale, in a one to two ratio. Radical acceptance. Acceptance is acknowledging what is. Freedom from suffering requires acceptance from within of what is. Deciding to tolerate the moment is acceptance. Acceptance allows you to move on. Acceptance doesn't mean you have to agree with or like the situation. Distress Tolerance Plan Create a written plan that lists all of the ways you can deal with distress. Rehearse all of the techniques. Make sure that the plan can be edited and updated. Keep it somewhere accessible. The more you plan, the better prepared you will become and the stronger you will grow. Dialectical Behavior Therapy, or DBT, Emotion Regulation Skills. Gain control over your emotions. Recognize and name your emotions without judging them or yourself or feeling them. Do not suppress or mask emotions, but allow them to arise. Learn to identify the physical vulnerabilities and mental thought patterns that sustain your emotions. Learn to increase your positive emotions. Practice summoning up the opposite emotions. 
Learn to surf your urges and ride them out rather than giving in to them. Learn problem-solving skills. Figure out the story of each emotion. One, determine what triggered the emotion. Two, analyze and interpret that event. Three, become mindful of the physiological symptoms it causes to arise in your body. Four, understand what this emotion is saying to you and the action it is urging you to take. Five, take that action. Six, finish by naming the emotion. Reduce vulnerability, please. Doing whatever you can for your own body's health because when it is not feeling well, negative emotions can be more intense. Treat physical illness and take care of the body. Eat properly by getting good nutritious foods and not going hungry. Avoid mood-altering drugs and take the medicine prescribed by your doctor. Sleep properly by having a regular bedtime and getting a healthy amount of sleep so you feel rested and vibrant. Exercise every day, take brisk walks, go to the gym, or whatever works for you. Build Mastery do one thing each day that makes you feel competent and in control. Perhaps something you already excel at, something new, or an area where you wish to learn more or acquire new skills. Perhaps draw a picture, write, play a musical instrument, learn a new language. Build positive experiences. Short term, do pleasant things that are possible now. Increase pleasant experiences that prompt positive emotions. Long term, make changes in your life so that positive events will occur more often. Make a list of positive events you want. List small steps towards goals. Take first step. Opposite to emotion. Negative feelings do not exist in isolation and are always connected with a positive feeling. Happiness is connected with sadness, love with anger, peace with fear, joy with despair. The first step involves becoming mindful so we can notice and name what we are feeling. The second step involves knowing we can generate positive emotions through our actions and summon the opposite emotion, perhaps by dancing, smiling, or laughing. Urge surfing. When we are feeling a particularly nasty urge, we should learn to surf it without giving in to it, pushing it away, magnifying it, or attempting to mask it with any kind of risky behavior. This requires a strong degree of detachment and an ability to accept this emotion without judging it. Letting go of emotional suffering. We can feel depressed, but we can also suffer because we are feeling depressed. And often the suffering is worse than the feeling because it involves beating ourselves up over feeling bad, which just makes it worse. Here a key lies in acceptance and mindfully holding on to the feeling and simply being present with this feeling and acknowledging it 
because doing so short circuits any suffering that may arise. Dialectical Behavior Therapy or DBT Interpersonal Effectiveness Skills Self-Respect Effectiveness Goal Keep or Improving Liking Yourself Fast Be fair to yourself and to the other person Apologies Not Needed Do not apologize for being alive or making a request Do not apologize for having an opinion or for disagreeing Stick to your own values. Be clear on what you believe is the moral way to act or think. Truth and accountability. Do not lie, act helpless, exaggerate, or make excuses. Accept responsibility for your behavior and actions. Relationship Effectiveness How they feel Goal Get or keep a good relationship Give Gentle Be courteous and temperate in your approach No attacks, threats or judgments Interested Show real interest in the other person Practice active listening skills Validate the other person's feelings, wants, difficulties, and opinions about the situation. Easy manner. Use a little humor, smile, be relaxed and diplomatic. Soft sell over hard sell. Objective Effectiveness how to get what I want. Dear man, describe the current situation, just the facts. Express your feelings and opinions about the situation. Assert yourself by asking for what you want or saying no clearly. Reinforce or reward the person ahead of time. Explain consequences. Mindfully keep your focus on your objectives. Don't be distracted. Appear confident and effective. Good eye contact. Don't stammer. Negotiate. Be willing to give to get. Healing Mind, Body, and Feelings The Toronto Hypnotherapist 2012-2013